Hello, boys and girls. Uh, this is Mr. Kizik, and I just wanted to give you guys a little support video for the homework here and for your video submission on Friday. I do apologize for the video. I know some of you contacted me and said that it was going in and out. And before, you know, I always upload these videos onto YouTube, I do check to make sure that it does sound good. And when I did check, it, it did sound good. So somehow between that time and uploading it to YouTube, it just went in and out. I don't know why, but hopefully now things will be better. So with this, um, your homework was to basically, or is to basically simplify all these square roots, cube roots, fourth roots, and whatnot. In the video, I talked about, um, well, what, where to look for a square root, cube root, fourth root, and the numbers, and how you go about um, simplifying them. So let's just say, for example, this is, I believe, ooh, I want to say number 11 on your homework here, how you would go about solving this problem. So just like before what we did in like near the beginning of the year, this is a square root. We know that it's a square root because there's no number in this area here. So because of that, we want to figure out what's the biggest perfect square that goes evenly into 252. And that would be 36. And then the other factor is 7. Well, from that here, we would simplify square root 36, which is 6, and then square root 7. And if you recall, whenever there's a number outside your square root, you multiply with the number that's outside. So 3 times 6, 18, and square root 7. All of that is the same. That's nothing different. What's different really now is this variable portion. How do I solve for that? Well, in the video, I said this. I said you take the exponent of each variable, so in this case, 5, and divide it by whatever the index here is of your symbol. Now, there is no index, because why? Well, if you call, it's a square root, so there's a known 2. So really, there's a 2 right, right there. So now you're going to do long division. 2 goes in 5 twice, and I have remainder 1. What that means is that this 2 right here goes with var is your exponent of variable outside. So in this case here, it would be k squared. And then whatever the number is here, that's your exponent for a variable inside your symbol. So it's just k. So that's how you would do a problem like that. Let's look at another one where it's a cube root. So let's say cube root of 16 x um to thirteenth y to the third power and we'll do z squared. Okay. So now what type of problem is this? This is a cube root. How we know that? By the index right here. So instead of doing what's the biggest perfect square that goes evenly into 16, you're thinking what's the biggest perfect cube that goes evenly into 16. So in this case here, it is, looking at your list, whether from the work or previous assignments, it's 8, and the other factor is 2. What's the cube root of 8? 2. And then we still have cube root of 2. Now, I know there's going to be other things inside and outside here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just rewrite this over here. Leave some space. And do the variables. X to the 13th. So now what I'm going to do is my long division. Take the exponent of my variable. 
divided by whatever this number is here. In this case, it's 3. Now I'm going to do long division. 3 goes into 13 4 times with the remainder of 1. If we look at the previous example, the number right here, the 4, is the exponent for the variable on the outside. So exponent for the variable on the outside. And then the remainder is the exponent for the variable on the inside. You could write x to the first, but remember x to the first is just the same thing as x. Let's do the next one, y cubed. So I take the exponent of y, which is 3, divided by index, 3. 3 goes into 3 once with the remainder of 0. So what that means is 1 is the exponent for y on the outside, so just y. And now if I have a remainder of 0, that means there is no y on the out, on the inside. Now let's do z. 2 divided by 3. Well, 3 goes into 2 0 times with a remainder of what? 2. So what does that mean? Well, that means now since the 0 is over here, that means there are no z's on the inside. And there are two z, I mean, on, on the outside, and there are two z's on the inside. So that would be your final answer here. All right, so that's just a little support video to help you with the homework. Again, if you got any questions, please.